Hey, what is going on today, GBA fans? It is Supergassy here, and I have our Week 3 versus um, Sceptile MC and uh, the San Francisco Arcaniners. Now, this was a very, very hard match for me, and um, what happened was uh, I was being distracted the whole game by parents and uh, everything, and twice we DC'd. Once was at the very end when I knew that like you know the game was over and um so yeah we had to replicate it as best we could on showdown um we did take down the log though right here of everything that happened in the game um and i will be going through this as i'm going through the match um just because it's important and um it shows you what happened really other than what we tried to recreate in the match um it was a very close game and I'm a little disappointed that I didn't give 100% and I would just like to say that now. So yeah, I'm going to start the match here. And yeah, so as you see, he leads off with his Zapdos as I lead off with my Tornadus. Now I am Assault Vest, so I know I can take one Volt Switch, one Thunderbolt, whatever. And um, yeah, so he's going to go for the Volt Switch as I knew I could take one and I went for the knockoff, trying to knock off whatever he came into. And he does go into the Milotic, and I knocked off his leftovers, which is important because without his leftovers, he has to rely on using Recover, um, blah, 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 this and that. Um, it was a crit this time around, which didn't really matter too much in the long run because he's going to go for Recover anyway, and it's going to put him back to full. So we just decided to keep going. And um, yeah, uh, I go for the crit. He goes for Recover. I go into Amoongus. Um, right here, I go for a Sludge Bomb as he switches into the Skunk Tank, and I have to switch out here, so I go into Ampharos as he goes for the Poison Jab. I get no Static Paralysis, which kind of sucks, um, and yeah, so I Mega Evolve. This is going a little fast for me. Uh, I need to slow this down. I'm going to go at normal speed, <laughs> and um, yeah, he switches out, and I Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go straight for the Dragon Pulse here because I know it's going to do damage to everything on his team. And um, so originally I had gotten a crit on the Uxie here with a, a Dragon Pulse, so I took it out in like two hits rather than three or four right here. I don't know. And um, he got one Psychic off on me. This time it was a crit. Didn't really matter too much in the long run um, as I'm going to be able to knock him out with Dragon Pulse. And that's one kill under Bartolo's uh, belt. He went for the Stealth Rock just because in the original game here, as you see... Um, we took down the log. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> uh, uh, goes in it. Yeah, he got a crit poison jab here. Um, oopsie. Yeah, that was a crit right there. That was a crit D pulse right there. Right there it was a crit D pulse. And then, yeah, so. Yeah, I killed the <laughs> Uxie with Ampharos as he goes into the Landers right here, and I switch out into my Tornadus. Now, let me explain what happened here. Because in the original game, I saw Earth Power, and I was like, okay, he's special. Um, no. It turned out that this Landers Eye was misgenned. And if it went for Earthquake there, I would have known that it was fully physically offensive. And I wouldn't have been playing my Amoongus against it as if he had Psychic. So it really threw me off. It threw me for a whirl. And, um, you know, me being distracted and whatnot, I saw Earth Power, I immediately thought, he's got to be special. Um, he's got to have Psychic or something like that. Turns out he was Scarfed. And um, so right here, he goes for the Earth Power. He switches out. <clears throat> and he goes into the Zapdos as I do go for a Hurricane. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry. It was funny because... In the original match, I did miss my Hurricane, so it didn't really matter that I missed it right there. Um, the better play right there would have been going for HP Ice or going for a knockoff, and then I would have knocked off his Zapdos' um, Choice Scarf, giving me better momentum, and being able to knock off its Choice Scarf would have been better for me because it wouldn't have been so fast, and I w it wouldn't have been such a threat to me in my opinion. So yeah. Um, yeah, so he does go into the Zapdos Jupiter, as I believe right here he goes for a Hidden Power Ice as I switch into my Amoongus. Right? Now he goes for a Volt Switch. Okay. Um, 
I don't know. I relived this match so much because we were trying to get it perfectly right. So right here, he does go into Landorus. As I went into Amoongus on the Volt Switch. Now, um, as I said before, I thought he was fully specially offensive. So my best switch was going into Latios. Um, I did not know that he had this move right here because he goes for a U-turn and it's super effective and brings me down that far. Now, by right then and there, I should have known that he's physical by the damage output. Then again, I was distracted. I didn't take into consideration if he was physical, special, or whatnot. I, I was just going off instinct. So right here, he does bring in Zapdos. And I know I need to save my Latios for a defog. Um, and I go into Amoongus on the Hidden Power Ice. <coughs> Sorry guys, oh my god. It's very late at night, <laughs> and yeah, so he goes for a Hidden Power Ice. He does about 32%. He has to switch out, and he goes into the Skunk Tank. Now, I don't know why when I was team building, I never thought of him bringing Safety Goggles Skunk Tank. And he was safety goggles. And I was fucked. I had almost nothing to switch into at this point on a skunk tank. And once again, skunk tank comes to take my life. So I have to switch out. I can't do anything against this. And I decide to go into Blissey. Now, he went for a poison jab. And he gets the poison. In the original match, he does get the poison. So... Yeah, um, right here I know I can take another Poison Jab, so I just go for a Healing Wish to get my Latios back up to full, and um, I know I have to get off a of Defog. So right here, I was really debating what to do. I didn't know if I should just attack him, go for a Draco, and then go for a Defog, because he could Sucker Punch right there. And that would knock out my Latios, and I would have no Latios, and then going for a Healing Wish right there was pointless. Um, also, another thing he could have done, I could have switched out, and then he goes for Pursuit. So, my best optimal play was going for a Defog, because I know 100% I'm going to be able to get that Defog off. So, as you see, I do go for the Defog, and um, right here he goes for a Crunch, and knocks me out which really sucks, um, because I really needed that Latios, and yeah, <laughs> I, I screwed up. I should have went for the Draco there. Then again, it was my safest play just to go for the Defog, so that Tornadus T will get the most out of its Regenerator. And yeah, so right here, um, I'm going to go for a Hurricane. It's not going to knock him out, and he is going to go for a Poison Jab. Um, he doesn't get the poison in the original match, he didn't get the poison, and then he goes for a Sucker Punch and I live on like 5% and go for a U-turn. So, that's exactly how the match went, there was no differences there. Um, now, I go into the Amoongus here, as he goes for a Crunch, um, in the original game he did get a defense drop, I don't think it really mattered at this point, but, um, I think that was just something, I don't, no, wait. No, I don't think he got the defense drop in the original match. So, right here I go for the Giga Drain and I take him out. Um, the crit didn't matter because originally he was a little bit lower, so Giga Drain had the power to take him out. And um, he goes in the Landers here, and as I said before, I saw Earth Power. So I thought, special with U-Turn. This was such a big mistake on my part, because at this point, if he went, if he went for U-Turn and I stayed in and went for a Spore... It was, it was good game. He could have done nothing. Because right here, I switch out. And he goes for a U-turn. And I was so upset with myself that I let this Landorus play me like that. Because had he gone for U-turn and gone into Zapdos, I spore it. And then I can spam Sludge Bomb in it, switch out into like Amphros, go for a rest, and then Sleep Talk, and then... You know, it, it, it was just a bad, bad play. And, like, the way he played the Landorus, it, it wouldn't have thrown me off guard if I was more concentrated. If I was more concentrated, I probably would have stayed in there on the U-turn and gone for a Spore. And that would have probably really helped me in the long run because this Hitmonlee causes me trouble. And I know I have to keep the Amoongus around for the Hitmonlee. 
so I can't sack off Tornadus or Amoongus, and yeah, so he goes for the close combat, takes me out, that's fine. Now, <clears throat> right here, I go into my Amoongus, and he goes for a Blaze Kick. In the original game, he got a crit with the Blaze Kick, which brought me down to about 30% or so, and that's what really mattered in the long run. That's another thing that really mattered, because the crit Blaze Kick, as I think I put it down in the log too. Um, Sage Goggles... Amoongus comes in, takes a crit Blaze Kick. So, yeah. Um, now, yeah, I came in, took a crit Blaze Kick, and I went for the Sludge Bomb. Um, now, at this point, my better play was going for a Giga Drain, because... If he went for knockoff, I wouldn't have had my Black Sludge, and therefore I would have had to rely on Giga Drain to give me recovery, and hope that some way there and how that I could take out the Hitmonlee with a Giga Drain, or get back more HP with it, and my better play was just going for a Giga Drain. I don't know why I went for a Sludge Bomb. Maybe thinking he would switch out, but even so... Everything else on his team doesn't really want to take a Giga Drain except for Zapdos. And sure, I had no switch into Zapdos, but like, it just, it wasn't a good play. And I, I should have went for the Giga Drain. I know I should have. And yeah, so I went for the Sledge Bomb. And uh, right here, he's gonna go for a knockoff as I switch into my Manaphy, trying to take another Blaze Kick. Um, yeah. It was just, it was a bad play. And he's going to go into his Milotic here. In the original game, I went for a Scald here. I didn't get the burn, so I did, he didn't get the burn. And then I switched out. I go into my Moongus, and he's going to go for an Ice Beam. I take an Ice Beam pretty well. In the original game, it was, it, it, I was obviously at, like, lower HP because I got Critted. So, I'm able to take two of those, and I go for a Giga Drain. Oh no, I went for a Hidden Power Fire. Wait, why did I go for a Hidden Power Fire? Oh, because that's the amount of HP he had me at. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, what are we trying to recreate here? I think we were trying to get me at a certain amount of HP. And because I was at a certain amount of HP when uh, he did all this. and So, he went for the Scald and I got burned. In the original date game, I did not get burned. So, it was just, it was unfortunate because that ends up mattering a little bit in the long run because we kind of didn't play that right. So right here I switch into my Tornadus, uh, I take an Ice Beam, I go for a U-turn, and um, I'm going to switch out into my Manaphy, and he goes for a Scald. He doesn't burn me, I believe. Yeah, and I go for an Energy Ball, and in the original game I went for a Scald and burned him and took him out that way. But I just decided to go for an Energy Ball again, because I know that Manaphy took him out, so I didn't want to play around with any more hacks. Um, right here he goes into uh, Hitmonlee, goes for a Fake Out, and I get flinched, and then I'm going to go down to a Close Combat. So this is where it went free for all, this is where the log ended, and this is where we're continuing on. So, he goes for a Close Combat, knocks me out, I know my best switch in is Amoongus, and um, I have to Spore something. Or I have to, um, I have to go out into Tornadus first, sack off Tornadus. He goes for a Blaze Kick and I live it. And I was really confused right there because I was like, what the hell? Ugh, like, ugh, it's not like Tornadus could have saved the game or Moongus, but, um, at, at least one more kill. Like, that would have been nice. So he goes into Landris as I go for a Gig Drain. I get a crit, that's fine. Um, kind of makes up for the fucking burn. <laughs> so, um... He's going to go for a knockoff, knock off my Black Sludge, as I believe I do go for the Spore. Um, yeah, this is the point where I knew he was fully physical. And, um, yeah, so he goes in the Zapdos, as I do go for a Gig Drain, does nothing. And I can't really do anything to the Zapdos other than Sludge Bomb it. And I'm going to go down to Burn eventually. So he goes for a Heat Wave, he misses. I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. Um, it does like 33%, and I get a Poison, but... If I had Synthesis on this thing, maybe it would have been able to stall out his team, but uh, in the long run, yeah, it was basically a good game the minute I 
screwed up and thought the Landorus was mixed with U-Turn. So that misgen, it really helped him in the long run, and that's what really sucks. Because had he not been misgened, I would have known that he was physical immediately, and I would have kept the Amoongus in on U-turns or on the Landorus at certain points in the game, and I wouldn't have let it pressure me so much. Um, just the fact that he could have had Psychic is what really scared me, and I knew that, like, I don't know. At, at a certain point, it was just like, fuck it, I can't do anything. Um, but yeah, the whole logs here of what happened in the game. Um, Amoongus taking that crit blaze kick and going for a sludge bomb was the worst play ever, and I think that's what decided my fate. And yeah, so yeah, um, this is the part. <clears throat> my Lodic goes for an Ice Beam, Amoongus lives, Amoongus goes for Giga Drain, switch to Tornadus T, M Tornadus T takes an Ice Beam, U turns. Man, if he comes out, takes an Ice Beam, goes for Energy Ball, fails to KO, takes a Scald, Scald, fails to KO, goes for Scald again, Scald. Yeah, burn, burn from the Scald KOs Man, if he, and then Hitmonlee goes for a Fake Out, uses Normal Gem, and the game DC. So, yeah. Um, it was just, like, I was thinking so hard of bringing Synthesis on Amoongus instead of HP Fire, because, um... I knew that Ampharos and Latios already handled the Scizor, but I just didn't. And the burn after everything, because as you can see here, Amoongus was at. Oh, sorry. Amoongus was at. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But Amoongus was at 115 HP out of a certain amount. I forgot what it was, but that's like, that's like over half. And then Tornadus was at like 71 HP, which is like a little under half for him. And so Tornadus would have died to the Blaze Kick. Then Amoongus comes in. It can go for Giga Drain and blah blah. And then yeah, it was just uh, it was just horrible playing on my part this week. And I hope this never happens again because I feel I could have honestly won it with the team that I prepared. I just didn't. I I let that Landorus get to me. And I wasn't able to set up Stealth Rocks. And the Hitmon Lee got a crit blaze kick, which sucks. Because without that, I could have stayed in. And I could, I should have went for the Giga Drain. I don't know why I didn't. Because blaze kick could not two shot me. Well, it could, but not after leftovers. After leftovers, it's only a three shot. So. It's just really unfortunate this week, and um, but yeah, next week we got Makati, and I'm really looking forward to playing Makati because I know he's not going to slouch on me, um, and I, I'm definitely not slouching on him. I'm already I've already been preparing the team for like three days now. It's still not ready, but it will be ready by Tuesday or so when we battle, and then you guys will see that Sunday. You guys will see the team builder Saturday. And I hope you all are hyped. Um, this is our first loss. I'm not even disappointed because I really just didn't play good. And it was still only a 3-0. Um, I'm just really disappointed because I, I made horrible plays. I was distracted. Horrible plays. And I... The, the misgen. The misgen with the Landorus is what really cost me the game. Because when he went for Earth Power, I immediately thought... He's going to have Psychic. He didn't have Psychic. So at certain points in the game when he was going for U-Turn, I could have went for Spores and put things to sleep. And it would have been so happy and so good. like Because I would have been able to set up with Manaphy on certain things when they were asleep. Or like Tornadus could have came in, gotten more Regenerator back. And then been able to handle the Zapdos, Landorus shenanigans going on. And it was just... It was overall just bad playing that killed me i don't think my team was that badly built it handled everything on his team really well except the skunk tank kind of threw me off a little bit here and there but i don't think it was that big of a problem for my team um yeah just you know like i don't think anything per se threw me for like a loop 
and I I knew I could handle a lot on his team. Um, I'm definitely gonna be preparing for him a lot next time. I'm just I'm like <laughs> like I'm crushed right now because I was really expecting to beat him. It's just the circumstances and the bad playing screwed it all up, and I'm really disappointed in that. And I'm not gonna let that happen again because yeah, it's just it was it was a bad week. It was a bad week. I've had a horrible week this week, and I'm seriously just like not feeling good. I can't. Uh, college started this week, so I'm really busy with that. And you know, between that work, YouTube, and you know, daily life happening, it. I don't know. I was just thrown for a loop this week. I'm not gonna let it happen to me again. I'm preparing fully for um, Makati, and. I, I know we're going to beat him, and I'd like to put this team's slogan for the season as a uh, believe it, <laughs> because everyone doubted us, everyone said, oh, I don't think this team can do anything, blah, blah, this and that, you know what, this is one loss, and I'm not going to let one loss destroy my hopes and dreams of being GBA Season 2 D-League Champion, <sighs> so as Naruto Uzumaki would say, believe it. Okay, guys? So, yeah. I hope you're all hyped for next week. This loss, even though I'm disappointed with how I played and how things went along, I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm joyful as ever. I'm happy to lose to George. I don't really care. Um, and yeah, guys. So, peace out. And I'll see you all later. Bye.